Hello, good afternoon and welcome back to my channel. My name is Choma and you are on Igbo Academy. Today, we're going to talk about pet names that you can call your female friends, your loved ones, your wife, your girlfriend, pet names that you can call them that will make their heads to scatter. You know whenever you call a woman this name or a girl this name, she will just jula jula. You know what I mean? She will just cool down and let you talk to her. So, number one is Apple now. Apple now. Apple. You know, Amu is the sun. So, Apple now is someone that doesn't go out in the sun. In, in Nigeria, in Igbo land, the sun is very hot. So, it is believed that whenever, or whenever you don't go out in the sun for a long time, your skin is fresh. If you're someone that goes out of, in the sun all the time, they the sun tells on the skin. So when they call you up and down, hey, yeah, they just scatter because they mean that you're very fresh. When you tell a woman that she's very fresh, just tell a woman that she's beautiful and she will start listening to you. So when you tell her that she doesn't go out in the sun, up and down, she'll be very happy. So if you have a friend in your office or a colleague or your girlfriend or your wife and you call her up and down, my up and down, you know that you're on the right path. Number two, Norma. Norma, Ne is mother and Oma is good. So when you say Norma, you mean good mother, good woman. She's very happy. Number three is Oriako. Oriako. You know, even people have, they take pride in, even men take pride in taking care of their wives. They want their wives, their girlfriends to chop their money. They want you to chop their money. So when they tell you Oriako, it means that you're the best in chopping my money. You're the caretaker of my money. Once you call a woman that one, she means, it means that everything is in her hand. When you allow a woman to be your manager, that's what it means. Oriako. Number four is Noma. Remember we say you are going to say 40 romantic pet names that you can call your wife, your girlfriend, your mother, in evil language. You can call your mother, not all of you can't call your mother, your mother Unyem. But these are 40 romantic names that you can call them. Number four, one your mother is good woman, just like a normal good woman. You say one your mother, one your mother, because maybe if you're calling you the woman, you'll be like, you'll be like, one your mother's good. Hey, her head had, if her temperature was 100, it would just go down to 20. Because you call her one your mother, good woman. Number five is Ego Yubo. Ego Yubo pounds and dollars. <laughs> Why you call a woman Ego Yubo? Hey, because in Nigeria here, in Igbo land, pounds is scarce. It's not something you say every day. It's very expensive. So when you call her Ego Yubo, it means that you're, you're giving her high value. And when you value woman very well, she just could have for you. So you call her ego, you go, hey, hey, it's kata. Number six is ego be no one. Ego be no one. So ego be no one, there's a drink that we used to drink here in Nigeria. The name of the drink is ego be. And that drink, it has a color in it though. But it's like yellowish. It's like, is it they use egg in making it? So if you're losing weight or you're not feeling very well and you drink it, to make your skin to be very, to, make, to give you appetite and make your skin to be very fresh. So anybody that drinks a green is believed to have fresh skin and it's believed to be very pompous and very beautiful. So when the man calls you a green, no one means that you are very fresh. You see how you design a green, my skin is very fair. <laughs> so that's it, a green, no one. Then, a hand that your skin is smooth, it means that you're beautiful. All this is just to commend the woman and tell her that she's beautiful and she'll be very happy and do anything that you want her to do for you. That's just it. Number seven, Asa Pete. Asa. Asa means that you're beautiful. Asa Pete. Some people used to take the, the names of their husbands or, or boyfriend. Like if my husband is Chinedu, I'll say I am Asa Chinedu, I am Asa Ekene, I am Asa Eneka. So Asa, or if you, if you see a lady that you like, tell her Asam, your girlfriend. Asam, if your name is Eneka, 
Oh, your name is John. Asa John. Hey, the girl will know that she's the only one who she's very beautiful and she's your own. Things like that. Number eight is Mirima. Mirima. That's Miri is water and Uma is good. It means that you know there's something in which is mommy water, like mommy water from the river. It's believed that they painted when you water when you are small. Because that mommy water is very beautiful. Marie Mother, she comes out of the water. Her body is very beautiful and everything. So Mirima is like, like be, as beautiful as mommy water. So that's what it means, but it means that you're very beautiful. Then the next number nine is Oledo. Oledo. My gold. Oledo is gold. My gold. Any man tells you that you're my gold. You're my Oledo. You're my gold. You know, gold is a precious metal. It's very expensive and it's very precious. So for you to be somebody's gold means that the person values you very, very well. That's why they call it Oledo. Olam, Oledo, and the guest said it was really big, big, big. Next, number 10 is Akum. Aku. Aku is wealth. So, when someone tells you that you're my wealth, it means that there's something eh, that is being believed that when a man marries a woman, or when he has a girlfriend, and that girlfriend, he are in love, that it didn't lead to marriage. That she be, she brings good luck to him. That is the normal thing in evil land. She be, she brings good luck to him. Like for instance, if for instance in evil land, so there's sometimes that you see a man that is just living shabbishly and all that. Once he meets a girl, a girl that connects with him very well, he will start doing well. So some of them will just call you Akum, my wealth, and the girl will be very happy. And should be pay for him, and he'll be getting more wealth. Number eleven, why Niki Beyama? Why Nika Ibeyama? Means the woman that is that is better than all other women, all her mates. Women, the woman that is better than her mates. Woman better than her mates, than other other than others that are her mates. So once they call you this one, oh, it means that he knows that there is something in you. That's why he's calling you something like this. That's why he's calling you why you keep the young man. Then number 12 is Urema. Urema. Means that you're beautiful. I don't know what to say. I know it really means something. Maybe let out our process of the description. Then the number 13. Tomato juice. Oh, tomato juice. I grew up in the north, I grew up in Joss. Hmm. During that December period, then tomatoes used to be expensive. In Nigeria, yeah, tomatoes now used to be expensive during the December period because that's it, the season, the Hamatan period, where you get enough tomato. Then if you go to Joss, oh God, the tomato there in Joss, you will not see plenty of water inside. It is very fleshy, very sweet. As in, other tomatoes used to slap, but the one in just used to be very sweet. So they like use a woman to come. They they use you to personify that as in to relate that the woman is as sweet or as good as the tomato that you used to buy in just. That's why they call her tomato just. Any woman that you call tomato just, she will not get angry. She will be very happy. It means that I am very beautiful. And I'm very mm, sweet. I'm very, I look very taken away. <laughs> the next one is Oyoyo. Oyoyo. It means that something that is very dear to me. You know, if children are coming, if a mother, mother is coming back from the market, the children go to meet her, mommy Oyoyo. Mommy Oyoyo. It means that you're very dear to the person. Oyoyo. The woman, that Oyoyo means they will embrace you. And once someone embraces you, it means that you're comfortable with that person. You can't just allow anybody to embrace you. It means that you're comfortable with that person and you trust that person. It means that that guy that's calling you Oyoyo means that he's very comfortable. You're a safe place for him. He's very safe with you and he loves you. 
that's why it's calling you Oyoyo. So your girlfriend though, your bo your boyfriend though, you can call them Oyoyo, or your mother Oyoyo. You're very comfortable. She's your best. Then number fifteen, you have Elelebe Jehoru, Elelebe Jehoru. That you're looking at her, looking at her, and you do not go to work. It means that she's very beautiful. That's why you look at her for morning to night and you will not feel like going to work because she is very beautiful. So when you call a woman and then they to your house, but you can just see her body will be shooting her. That hey, look at I'm very beautiful. That's why he's calling me this. But I'm not ready to get what you want. The next one, I need it to please. Uh -uh. If you know you want to be calling them this and you don't need it, please stop. Stop. This is this is a disclaimer. I'm not telling you so you don't mean it. If you know you don't mean it, please don't go near them. Number 16 is in Kem. In Kem. In Kem means my own. My own. When you call a woman in Kem or your husband in Kem, he will just relax. He will just relax and they will just they will just put down their guts because Maybe you're having a, an issue with your husband that is evil, or you're having you're having a quarrel. Once you just say, "It came, listen to me," the man will just calm down. The woman will just calm down from hundred degrees to zero degrees. Once you say, "It came," if you mean it, though, it's not if you don't mean it. If you're saying that you don't mean it, the person will not come down for you. So you have to mean it very, very well. The next one, number 17, is O Tom. O Tom, my sweetness. That's another name. And you call your spouse, your girlfriend, and she'll be very, my sweetness, that she's very sweet. As in, she makes, makes you, her being here makes you feel, makes you sweet. As in, adds sweetness to your life, yes. Her being here adds sweetness to your life. So what you say, my sweetness in Kem, person will just relax and wait for you to continue. Then, the not the sorry, Otom, Otom, or Osom. Some people used to say Osom. I have an uncle and a I used to call myself Osom, 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 where are you? It's very good to do. It's very good to be calling your, your girlfriend or your wife or your mother too. Your mother, mothers need those names too. You know they try a lot too. It's not only for your girlfriend that your, your wife will call your mother too, but the ones that are appropriate for you to call them. Number eighteen is Obi. Obi mo, Osama. Obi mo, hey de mo, wanyama, wakama, amani jamwa. Oh, I've even called all of them in one song. He will send this up. Yes, Obi. Obi means my heart. You have to be very close to someone or do something very good to someone for the person to call you person's heart. So if someone has been has added too much sweetness to your life, it is good. Kwame, you call the person Obi. Obi. But you can't just call your female colleague. It has to be your girlfriend or your wife or your mother. The mother is so trying, yes. You can call your mother Obi. No, no, mama. Hey, hey. If your mom is angry, just call her. No, no, mama. Why are you there, Jemba? And then you're very jolly. Mama said you just start turning. Mama, why are you, mama? Hey, go, you go. Hey, mama said you just start that. You say, eh, eh. Organi, organi, get up. Match on it, I want to eat it. You see, she just walk out of it in the soup and give me. She will be convinced, she will tell you what else you do, but she will still give you plenty for you to know how all these pet names used to work. Then the next one is number 19. Oh, Bidia. Why are you Bidia? Is your little Bidia? Why are you little Bidia? Oh, Bidia. Once you call a woman, a married woman, Oh, Bidia means the heart of her husband. Oh, Bidia, Bidia. Hey, she could just run. She could just run and come and eat. Obi dear, care one. She be very happy to respond to you because you're calling her the heart of the husband. No woman wants another woman to come and be the heart of her husband. 
a woman who wants to take care of her husband so that she will be the heart of her husband. So what's she call her? Obedia. Once a man calls his wife Obedia, the woman will be very happy. Then number 20 is Achalugo. Achalugo Chris. I remember what Achalugo Chris when I was growing up. <laughs> Once you saw the one of my 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 cousins, my cousin's friend, his wife, is called Achalugo Chris. What you call her? Hey, you get your last scatter. What do you want? Let me buy it for you. Anything you want to the auntie will start buying you because you call her Achalugo Chris. So Achalugo means a royal woman. A woman that has royalty in her. So when you tell the woman that she is royal, she will be very, very happy. Then number 21. Anyamututu. Anyamututu is the early morning sun. Anyamu is sun. Anyamu, that's the early morning. Anyamu, anya is eye and Anyamu is the sun. So the eye of the sun, the early morning sun. You know, it used to be very beautiful when you see the sun in the morning, as when it's right, the rise, the rising, the rising sun, the rising sun. That's the animal. What you call the woman? You know, the sight of the rising sun in the morning you used to be, just go outside that, experience it for one day. You just do it for the rest of your life. It used to be very beautiful, especially here in the east. So once you call the woman, animal to to hell. She will just be, be like this, sitting. She will just be sitting at the leg because she called her and I want to do. Number 22. Ordinobi. 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 Once you, told, you tell a woman that she's Ordinobi, she's in your heart. She's in your heart and she's inside your heart. If you open your heart, if you can open your heart, she's inside. Okay. If you can open your heart, the, the, the woman is inside. Once you tell her that, you have scattered her head. And you want to talk. Oh, she'll be very happy. Then, sorry, or the no be. Or the no be. Or the no be. Once you're having a choir or it's agreement. Or the no be. Hey. Her head. Her dad will just scatter it. Look at her using washing machine to wash her. You know, some men are not allowed to wash very well. The, they just know the sweet words. These things I'm telling you now, these threat names are the sweet words that you'll be telling a woman. Even if you're you're chasing her, you're trying to get her to like you or to befriend her, and you're telling her all these things. Even if she uh, if she doesn't have an intention of of becoming your friend, she will just start looking at your side little by little. The next one is Omalicha. Omalicha. Means someone that is very fine. Omalicha, someone that is very fine. So when you tell a woman that she's your Omalicha, Omalicha, she's very happy that she's very beautiful. All these things, all these pretenses, just to tell the women, make them feel good. You're making the women feel good, telling them that they are beautiful, that they are the best, that they are very royal, that they are very. They are, they are the most beautiful, priceless things you've ever seen in this world. And that's that. Then number 24 is Akugu. Akugu. I said it for this channel that the Igbos value the ego. That's Ugo. Very well. Because the ego is a, is a powerful bird that can fly far, very fast. It is a bird that has a beauty to behold. So when you tell a woman that she's the egg of an ego, that you pamper her like the egg, that she's the egg of an ego, it means that you definitely are telling her that you're going to pamper her as the egg of an ego. Because to see the egg of to see an ego self attack is very hard. You can't see it easily. And for you to go and get the egg, hey, means that that egg is very priceless. So you're telling her that she's priceless, that you love her so much, and She's going to she's going to be very happy. Number twenty-five is Udara Mecha. Udara Mecha. Udara Mecha. It means the person is a 
Udaya in Chinese, you know what Udaya is? Udaya is a a a fruit in Igbo land. It is called African star apple. Maybe you go put it and look for it. Look for it. It's Udaya. It's a seasonal fruit that comes during the dry season. And when it is ripe, it is it used to be sour, but it used to be very sweet. If you like Udara, mm. you will just know. Udara is very sweet. So when you tell the woman that she's very sweet like Udara that she used to be, as in, she be very happy. <laughs> Number 26 is, okay, I've said, Olubadie. Olubadie, that's Olu, my neck. As in, only but it means that people that are looking at, looking at you. That whenever they look at you, what well, you used to turn next, yes. You used to turn next to the essence that they will break. Whenever you're passing, people will be like, ah, they'll be looking at you. See, they will not even know when they will fall inside water. So you tell the woman that she's very beautiful to the essence that people's neck will break because they're looking at her, and she's very happy. The next one is twenty-seven. Number 27 is if nanyam. If nanyam. It means my love. If nanyam. It means my love. So when you call her my love, she's very happy. The next one, number 28, is Adese. Adese. Adese means the first daughter of a king, a princess. You tell her that she's a princess. Princess, when you tell a woman that she's a princess, that she, you're my princess, my own, my own personal princess, she'll be very happy. She'll be very, very happy. Then number twenty-nine is also dear me, also dear me. It means that it means someone that does, someone that does things with her husband, someone that is in one. That does things with her husband. So when a, any woman, every woman's dream is to go into her husband's house and build a family. So what you do with your husband is build a family. So once you're working in unity, every time you're working, you're working in unity with your husband. It is a very good thing. So when they tell you, they call you Osodie, or when your husband tells you that you're Osodie, he calls you Osodie, it means that two people are in peace, you're living in peace. And every woman would like to have that name, like to hear that name. We like to hear her husband call her that name. So if you know you don't need to call your wife that, and she has been trying and doing everything peacefully with you at bed, just call her this one. Because call her for one week and you see how things will change for the better. Then number 30 is Asa. Asa or oh, Asa. Okamu Akine Melon Gala. When you call a woman, I say, means that she's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful woman, Asa. Then number 31, when you call her Mma, Mma the beautiful girl, Mma the beautiful woman, uh, it is scattering her like that, Mma means beauty. When you call her again, and then a bed, okay, I've said that one before, okay, I've said it before. When you call her, uge go you go, ho, uge go you go, uge be it's miro, and oh you go is the white people. Before the whites came to Igbo land, if you want to look at yourself, your reflection, you go to the river, take your bath and look at your reflection. So that was what they had to use for slave trade in the olden days though. They'll come, they will show you yourself on the mirror. <laughs> you can't bring your things and sell to them. You even sell your siblings, your kinsmen to them because they brought a, a magic thing for you there. Then it the was very precious because you use it to do your face. Not that it's common, everybody knows what a mirror is. Then, hey, if you're called the okay, very it means that you're very, very precious. So, number. 33 is Nemo Nemo Nem Nemo Nem Once you call a woman Nem In Igbo land, men, the guys love their mother so much Not only in Igbo land, 
most guys who love their mother so much. So when you liken your girlfriend or your or your wife to your mother, she'll be very happy now. At least she's doing well. She wants to hear that again. Then number oh, number thirty five or number thirty four. Okay, number thirty five is. Omo obi dia, oma obi dia. It means that you know your husband's heart. Someone that knows a husband's heart. So everybody wants, every woman that is married wants to know what is in the heart of the husband. Eh? Once you ask a woman, eh, I want to do this, so she tell you, no, my husband would not agree. Or my husband will see this, my husband will see that. That means that she knows her husband's heart. I need to go to the husband, he will see the same thing. Mm. So once you tell her on Moby Dia, or once a husband calls, calls the wife on Moby Dia, she'll be very happy. So number 36 is Adama, beautiful daughter, Adama. When you see a girlfriend, you tell her Adama, she'll be very happy. Adama is a daughter, first daughter, and Uma is beautiful. Then number 37, you have Asama. Okay, we said Asa. Asa is beautiful, so beautiful child. Adama, Asama is beautiful child. Then number thirty-eight is Ugeze, Ugeze, the king's pride. Ugeze, the king's pride. So once you tell a woman that she's the pride of the king, you're the king now. Since you're her husband or her boyfriend, you're a king. So you're her king. So when you tell her that she is your pride. She will be very, very happy. Number 39 is Umporoma. Okay, Umporoma. Umpori is a seed and Uma is fine. So she's a fine seed. If you tell the woman that you're fine, fine. All this is just telling her that she's beautiful, she's fine. Umporoma is a fine seed. Then, the next one is Mwachuku Kerem Bosuka. Mwachuku Kerem Bosuka. If you see a lady that tell her that, you, oh, it means you are created on a Sunday. It means that she was created on a Sunday. When you tell someone that you are created on a Sunday, it means that the person is very beautiful. Because if you believe in the, in the story of creation, God created everything on on. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, third, on the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, uh, sixth day, and on the seventh day he rested. So when he rested, he was there, he created you. He wasn't in the hurry. He didn't hurry himself. There was no hurry, hurry. He just took his time and created you. So she was very happy because they're telling her that it's so beautiful. Uh -huh. Whenever you want to learn all these perfect names that you can call your wives or your girlfriends, because there's a guy called Flavor that used to sing. All these songs, say, oh God, Flavor songs used to scatter my head. Whenever I hear this Flavor song, I'll just come out and kick my ear and listen because he knows how to praise you, man. This is what you care about. There are songs like, oh God, you can reach it. I am what you do. Mwachuku <laughs> But most of the songs are on point in praising women. So if you want to learn how to praise your wife, all those things, listen to them very well. Please listen to Flavor song. Flavor number one, and you're going to get under them. Thank you very much, and do have a nice day. That'll be all. Kermesia, Kurtzbazia, please do subscribe. Sorry, subscribe to my channel. So please subscribe. I need, I need to watch this list and subscribe. So subscribe to them, please, so that. The ministry can be moving forward. Thank you very much and do have a nice day.